There's a broken, battered village somewhere up behind the line. There's a dugout and a bunk there that I used to say were mine. I remember how I reached them, dripping wet and all forlorn, in the dim and dreary twilight of a weeping summer dawn. All that week I'd buried brothers, in one bitter battle slain, in one grave I laid two hundred, God, what sorrow and what rain. And that night I'd been in trenches seeking out the sodden dead and just dropping them in shell holes with a service swiftly said. For the bullets rattled round me, but I couldn't leave them there, water soaked in flooded shell holes reft of common Christian prayer. So I crawled round on my belly, and I listened to the roar of the guns that hammered fitful like big breakers on the shore. Then there spoke a dripping sergeant when the time was growing late. Would you please to bury this one, cause he used to be my mate? So we groped our way in darkness to a body lying there, just a blacker lump of blackness with a red blotch on his hair. Though we turned him gently over, yet I still can hear the thud as the body fell face forward and then settled in the mud. We went down on our faces, and I said the service through, from I am the resurrection to the last great adieu. We stood up to give the blessing and commend him to the Lord, when a sudden light shot soaring silver swift and like a sword. At a stroke it slew the darkness, flashed its glory on the mud, and I saw the sergeant staring at a crimson clot of blood. There are many kinds of sorrow in this world of love and hate, but there is no sterner sorrow than a soldier's for his mate.